Hey guys, I'm doing a video today because a lot of people have experienced, including me, a much later start to the growing season this year. Let me know if you are in that camp. Either snow and cold that's lasting longer than normal or rain. It seems like, according to viewers, that Florida and Texas might be kind of the same as they always are, but the rest of us, it seems we're getting a later start this year. So for those who are in a shorter growing season to begin with and now feel like they're really behind the eight ball because now it's going to be even shorter, or for those who are like chomping at the bit to get things harvested and just now are able to go out and actually do something in the garden, I'm going to be giving you 10 of the fastest growing crops that you can grow. So I'm going to go in order uh, from seed to harvest, how long it takes to get a harvest. I'll start out with the longest. And then as we get closer to the end of the video, the fastest growing crops that you can have. So we're going to start out with crops that take 70 days or fewer from seed to harvest. That might seem like a long time, but 70 days, I mean, it's not that long, especially when you get to be my age. So at 70 days, choice number one is summer squashes. Now, that can be patty pan, that can be zucchini, summer squash, uh, crook neck squash, any kind of summer squash. Those come in at around 70 days. But the great thing is once they start producing, they don't stop as long as you keep picking the fruits. And you really only need, especially with zucchini, you really only need a couple of plants to feed your family and some of the neighbors. The seeds are large, easy to germinate, and they are pretty easy to grow. I have how to grow videos on almost all these choices. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, for zucchini and squashes, some of your main problems would be powdery mildew, uh, which I have a video on, and a squash bug and squash vine borer. So if you can handle those three things, they're a cinch. Next at 65 days are these right here, peas. Now, peas are really easy to grow. There is a, a time of year, though, that they like best. So for my climate, where we have uh, mild winters and warm springs and then hot summers, uh, peas don't like the heat. They are cool season crops. And so typically we plant them in the fall and they grow all winter. And right now is about the time where they start to peter out and I'm letting some of these go to seed for next year. But if you're in a cool or cold winter climate, um, now is the time you can plant your peas. And another great thing is it might take 65 days to actually get a pea. However, you can harvest the pea shoots, which is this little section right here at the end. It might have a flower, might have a tendril, a couple of leaves, but these little ends are so tender and they actually taste almost just like the pea. So they're great uh, stir fried or in salads. My favorite pea to eat, and it's a pod pea, is Lincoln. It uh, is full of juicy, sweet peas. It's an heirloom variety, and I've never, ever had an issue with it. The next choice coming in at 60 days are cucumbers. Now, I just sowed my cucumbers here uh, a few days ago, and I'm gonna have them growing up these strings, just it's a great small space uh, tip. But cucumbers are great because they grow fast and they're really prolific. In fact, you might get a lot extra that you can't eat fresh. Emily and I did a video on our Next Level Homestead channel. I'll link that right up here. And um, we did a video on pickling your cucumbers, making pickles. And it's a super easy thing to do. You don't need any special equipment, really. So check that video out, and you'll make your own pickles that are way better than store-bought, more better for you, and use up your cucumber harvest. Coming in at 60 days, now we're talking about a California boy with deep southern roots. I like my fried okra. And okra is really easy to grow if you have the heat, the summer heat for it, uh, coming in at 60 days. Um, this isn't it behind me. It's a hot season crop, so I haven't even started it yet. The fennel just looks so good in the sun, I thought that'd be a nice background. But okra does grow very fast once the warm weather arrives, and it's got beautiful flowers on it, which are edible. However, I would rather actually wait for the okra. Another crop coming in at 60 days is crop number five, and that is bush beans. And bush beans are great because they take up hardly any space, unlike pole beans, but they're still really heavy producers. And you want to pick them when, they, when you barely can see the beans, the actual beans forming inside the pod. You just get little bumps there and they're still kind of small. And that's when they're the most tender. And also, if you keep picking your beans, it's going to keep them producing. If you start letting them go and get bigger seeds inside, the plant feels like it's done its job and made its seed, 
and it doesn't work as hard and it dies quicker. So keep harvesting and it will keep producing. Number six is beets. They can be harvested at about 50 days. I like to harvest them when they're about golf ball size. When you let them get a little bigger than that, they get kind of dense and woody. Beets are also great because you can eat the tops. And they're actually one of my favorite cooking greens. So you get the root and the leaves and you can start picking the leaves way sooner than 50 days. Just leave some on the plant so it can photosynthesize. Number seven is carrots. Now these come in at 50 days and you're looking at the smaller varieties of carrots to get a quick harvest. So like fingerlings, little fingers, um, Parisian, those type of carrots that don't have to grow big, but you can harvest them early. If you get carrot fly, plant some chives in and around your carrots and the smell, the garlicky onion smell of the chives keep the carrot flies confused so they can't find your carrots. Getting a little faster now at 45 days, the humble green onion. You could also plant these around your carrots and that would keep the carrot fly confused as well. And in about 40, 45 days, you can start to cut the green leaves off. Now you wanna take the outer leaves and leave the center ones to keep coming up and producing more. So unlike bulb onions that take a lot longer than this, green onions will give you that on oniony flavor in your cooking much, much sooner. Now, if you wanna speed that up even further, you can use kitchen scraps very easily to grow green onions. Just you know, cut the, the bottom quarter, half inch off of your green onions from the store, stick it in the ground, and you'll have this in a matter of days, if not just a week or two. Okay, the last two are much faster producers at under 30 days from seed to harvest. At 25 days from seed to harvest, no, we're not talking about garlic, unfortunately. We're talking about lettuce. Now, not head lettuce, but leaf lettuce. And you can start harvesting the outer leaves of these in 25 days or less. The whole head takes a lot longer to develop. Now you can either harvest the outside leaves of these or when they get to this size, you can just cut them off an inch or so above the ground, take them in, make your salad, and within a couple of weeks, you'll have a whole nother bunch from the same plant to use again. All right, now we're at the fastest growing crop, coming in 20 days seed to harvest, and that's this right here. Now this is bolted and gone to flower, although the flowers are edible as well. This is arugula. So if you like that peppery flavor in your salads and other things, like pizza, arugula is gonna be your fastest option. Once it starts growing, like I said, in 20 days, you can, you can start to pick the leaves. Now once it starts warming up, it's gonna to start to bolt like this. However, this is a great one to leave blooming in your garden because it attracts all the beneficial insects, ladybugs, uh, hoverflies, lace wings, and they're gonna help take care of the pests in the garden. So that's my list, the top 10 fastest growing crops you can grow. Let me know in the comments if any of these make your list on things you're gonna be growing this year, or if you have some you'd like to add that you've grown really quickly in the past. If you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't already, share it with a gardening friend, and I'll see you next time.